Brittany and Trish from Fold Factory and this is the 500th episode of Fold of the Week. I can't believe we're here. This episode also marks 10 years of shooting the series. So I've got something very special in store for everyone, but I wanted to start by thanking everyone who makes Fold of the Week possible. First and foremost, to everyone who sends me great things to share um, from all around the world. I don't have a show if you don't send me great things. Thank you so much for sharing your work so that I can share it with everyone else. Also, very special thanks to all of the Fold of the Week sponsors, Sappy North America, Structural Graphics, Standard Finishing Systems, AccuZip, and of course all of our media partners that help distribute and push out uh, Fold of the Week so that everyone can see it. So thank you so much for your support of the program. It just means a lot. Um, and to everyone who watches and shares and comments, I love to hear from you. Um, thank you so much for being a part of Fold of the Week. So moving on, um, I have something very special for everyone. So in anticipation of um, the 500th episode, I reached out to my friends at Structural Graphics and I said, I really want to design something completely new, a format no one has ever seen, but I also want it to be in the, in the public domain so that anybody in the world can create it. So um, they worked on a bunch of different formats and designs, and um, when they presented me with what they're calling the roundabout, um, I was just completely in love. I love this so much. Then they also um, surprised me with a beautiful commemorative design as well. So I'm very excited to share it. Um, it says, we're celebrating our 500th fold. That's a lot of t-shirts. So it opens up like this. And these, there's all t-shirts. All the panels have different t-shirts from different shows. Fold that thought, fold them if you got them. Um, opens up this way. And then it goes up this way. So it's starting to feel a little bit like a snake fold. But then watch this. It folds over again and over itself and layers like this. So it goes this way. So it actually, it, its foundation actually is a snake fold, but this is a very special layered snake um, type of a format that we're calling the roundabout. It goes all the way around and down. So this is actually two pieces glued together. Um, I think you're going to love this. I'm going to show you how it works. So um, this was digitally printed on um, Sappy McCoy Silk Digital for HP Indigo. Um, so it's got a beautiful feel. And um, this is basically, it's got two sections. Here's the cover. Okay, and you can see this blank panel is a glue panel. This is the interior piece. And there's also a glue panel that's blank right here. These two panels meet and glue together. And then what happens is it folds over, up, over, and then all the way around and you can see them this folds down and over and so the whole thing works together so you can technically add another glue panel and make it keep layering you just have to adjust and make that a little bit smaller it's all about folding compensation um, if you watch full of the week you know how that um, really plays into the success of the piece so this can layer and layer and keep stacking which is really really cool um, these were uh, die score uh, glue hand fold and assemble by the team at structural graphics just um, an amazing uh, feat of format design called the roundabout so um, we're also by the way courtesy of fold factory and structural graphics we're giving away the die line to this for free so if you want to make the roundabout there's a link at the end of the video and you can go download it for free. Um, also Structural Graphics has a very special treat. They're giving away 500 printed commemorative samples um, to celebrate the 500th episode. So go that link at the end of the video um, and uh, hurry up. They're going to go fast. So <laughs> I hope you like it. That is the 500th episode of Fold of the Week, the roundabout. Forward this to your friends and colleagues. Keep the dialogue going. And viewers, please send me your folds. If I use the mouse and you free stuff, visit foldfactory.com for folded samples, die lines, and print. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.